what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and like button and comment weather or some weather facts or anything no hatred comments or inappropriate comments and if you're a returning subscriber same for you except you are a subscriber so just please hit that like button no hateful comments just weather and and yeah so guys we have um so gabrielle has dissipated <clears throat> which is which doesn't really matter in this case because gabrielle well it's right around there here but it doesn't really matter anymore and so it did not affect anything so yeah so there obviously there are some thunderstorms <clears throat> in the caribbean <clears throat> so it says a surface Throw located over the trunks and Kai Skos is producing widespread cloudiness and disorganized thunderstorms over the Turks and Kaigos as the southeast of Bahamas and extending northward over the southern Atlantic southwestern Atlantic for a few hundred miles. Ship reports indicate that tropical force wind gusts are occurring in some of the heavier squalls. Limited development of this Disturbance is expected during the next few days while the disturbance moves slowly west northwestward across the Bahamas due to only marginally conductive upper level winds. However, environmental conditions could become more favorable for development when the system moves over Florida Straits into the eastern Gulf of Mexico late this week and over the weekend. Regardless of development, this disturbance will produce periods of locally heavy rain fall and gusty winds across the Bahamas through Thursday and, and across Florida on Friday and continuing into the weekend. So formation change to 40 hours, which is two days low, 10%. Formation change to five days, medium, 40%. So, a, so probably a day ago, since I wasn't posting, I was still checking up on the storm. But I would say a day ago that this would not form, but now I'm saying that it will form. So, FS94L, a broad low pressure system associated with the tropical wave, is located about 900 miles east of the Western Antilles. Although this surface continues to produce disorganized shower activity, some slight development of the system is still possible tonight, tonight, and Wednesday. By Thursday, however, upper level winds are forecasted to become unfavorable for tropical cyclone formation. This surface is expected to move slowly west or across the tropical land. Tropical Atlantic Ocean for the next several days. So, formation change is 40 hours to 2 days low, 20%. Formation change to 5 days low, 20%. So, this storm does not, I mean, it, it doesn't have um, as much as a chance. And this storm might be Imelda, but let's just read into it. Possibly Jerry, or I don't know. And so. Let's just check real quick. Yeah, so this might be Jerry. And what if Jerry hits the East Coast? Well, there's a low chance of that. So, a tropical wave located between the West Coast of Africa and the Cable Verde Islands is expected to move quickly westward during the next several days. Some slow development is possible over the weekend when the system is a few hundred miles east of the Windward Island. So, formation chance for hours, 48 hours is two days low, near 0%. Information chance to five days low, 20%. So, all, out of all these storms, this one might, this one right here might be Humberto. So, we are in tropical tidbits. And as we play the animation, we see some slow development of this system. So, it shows a mini high pressure in the Gulf. And this shows a um, Humberto hitting Florida and Louisiana and Alabama and Georgia as a tropical storm. And we see Imelda forming, which is not over here. And yeah. So we see the Leeward Islands getting a landfall once again. Let's see this is. So. And we see Puerto Rico landfall. Then we see. A Cuban landfall. 
until we see. So this is Melta. Then we see Jerry. And that was a now category one. Now the now category two. So Jerry's right here. Now the now category three, and Jerry's now tropical storm. Jerry is kind of like Isaac, except a tropical storm. Weak, fifty miles per hour tropical storm. Then we see this wave, which will not form. So just category three, category four. Basically the highest it will go is category four. Now let's look at the 12Z, which does bring us back more, but. So as you can see, the storm, and it still shows as a category four. Look on the GFS legacy. So this model does overhype storm. So if I ever go on the GFS legacy, just know that all this stuff is not going to be is not happening. Though GFS legacy did predict Dorian as category five, but some of this stuff, most of their stuff is not true. So, again, we see, I mean, Melda and Jerry, which Melda is pretty weak by right now. A tropical storm. Just moving very slow. Wow, very slow. And then it emerges with another tropical storm, which seems to make no sense. But there is... Jerry, no, not Jerry, the other name, yeah. And guys, so this is way too close to New York. As I saw the model says September 23rd. This, this, this is way, 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 way too close. This is a way too close approach. This might bring warnings to Philadelphia. New Jersey. Most definitely. This is way, way too close to Philadelphia and New Jersey and New York. Just basically New England and just like the other states. This is way too close. As you can see, it affects parts of Massachusetts. So, guys, that's also what I also want to show you. And, yeah, this is way too close, and this is very bad. Bad news because this might have um, New York City landfall. Oh, and again. Again. If this really does happen, I'm in danger. So does so is everyone else. So yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, and bye.